thought we'd bite the bullet. Whoa, nice! An elegant. <laughs> I'm sorry. from you. I'm not a local. And there's a reason why the Bloodhound family is after me. I also have my own purpose for joining you on your journey. <laughs> but still, I appreciate your help. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. And, and my admiration for the Nameless is also genuine. You guys have been to a lot of worlds, met people from all walks of life, and experienced all sorts of things. Every day is a new beginning for you guys. <sighs> Can I bring you one more place? It isn't another tourist attraction. It's my very own secret base. And I'll... Do my best to tell you everything I know when we get there. Thanks. Let's go this way. Is something crying for help over there? Please talk! Help! Help me! Someone's dying! Please, come here! Didn't I make myself clear? Someone is dying! Please help! Wait! Can you see me? Uh, is there a problem? Introduce myself. My name is Clocky. I'm a famous celebrity in Panacomi. My friends and I keep the peace in this small town. They are Hanu, Mr. Soda, Origami Bird, Hamster Ball Knight, and Misha. Misha's in trouble! Tick tock! Help! Help! character that doesn't exist in real life. Um... Where is he? I, I can't see him. Tick-tock! I guess I'm only visible to those with the innocence, kindness, and honesty of a child. Like this kid here clad in gray! How so? Tick tock! Tick tock! My great friend, since you can see me, then you must be able to help me! My friend Misha is in trouble! I'm begging you to help him before it's too late! Huh. Well, are you gonna help this, um, clocky that only you can see? I don't think you're lying, as anything can happen in a dream. We can just head to the place I mentioned later. Tick-tock! Tick-tock! Hurry up and follow me, great friend! Misha's in trouble! He's over there! Let me bring you to him! The name of Misha rings a bell to me. Uh, anyway, better check out what's going on. Over there. Looks like something really did happen. Please, calm down! Tick tock! He's there! He's there! See? Clocky 
Disney does not tell lies! Everyone, please stay calm! You broke the rules, and now you're gonna have to pay the price. Punishing boss. Punishing boss. How did it come to this? What do you mean by all? See, I wasn't lying. Misha really is in trouble. TikTok, I'm begging you, my brave friend, begging you! Please help Misha! Wait, are you talking to Clocky? Hmm, I'm really curious too. TikTok, TikTok! It's all Stone's fault that things have turned out this way! Of all the lowlifes in Dreamville, Stone's the worst! He's a greedy man! Who wants to drive everyone out of Dreamville so that he can have all the precious stones to himself? He instructed his underlings to wreak havoc in the dreamscape, taking away everyone's positive emotions. Since then, the town has been filled with anxiety and disputes. We're no longer a family. As the guardian of Dreamville, I can't just sit back and do nothing. By using the power of clockwork, I can direct the flow of positive emotions in the dreamscape back into people's hearts. That way, everyone can patch up their differences and get along again! My great friend, I require your assistance. I have a feeling you'll be able to master the power of clockwork. After all, you're the special one who can see me! Also, you're a new visitor to this world, which means we have the element of surprise! If you take action now, we can catch him off guard! I can't pull it off on my own, because they can't see me! So please, close your eyes! To one. Can you feel an energy surging through your body? All we have to do is use clockwork on that cranky gangster boss and inject good emotions into him. Then we'll have won! Please bear in mind that you should never use clockwork with malicious intent. We're the guardians of Dreamville after all! Tick tock! Mind your own business, lad. I have to let that lady there know she's messed with the wrong person. Got into me just now. Hey, he seems normal now. That's wonderful. You did it. Great. It means you've mastered the art of clockwork. Oh, was I about to get into a fight with that lady? Was I crazy? What's wrong with us? Hey, hey, may I ask you a question? Were you the one who made me simmer down earlier? I, I wasn't my own self. Ooh, thanks for doing that. If we laid a finger on our guests just now, we would have faced severe punishment from the Bloodhound family. I'm 
so sorry for stirring up all this trouble. Alas, why did I get so worked up all of a sudden? It's, uh, it's, it's baffling. Oh, my great friend! You have to tell him that stone is behind this. This is embarrassing. I, I feel bad for causing such a spectacle. Uh, anyway, uh, I owe everyone a proper apology. Hey, gang, gang, uh, line up and say sorry to our honored guests, huh? Uh, um, sure. sure. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Ready? Go! Hey, uh, uh, we, 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 we're truly sorry, 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 sorry for the trouble we caused. Wow, well, they look really sincere. In that case, can you ask them to leave now? Sure thing, uh, you're the boss. Hey gang, let's give our VIP some space, eh? <laughs> yes, yes, boss. boss. <sighs> we meet again. Are you the one who helped settle everything down here? Misha, are you acquainted with this great friend of mine? He's an esteemed guest whom I befriended recently. I told you about him before. Does it ring a bell? Oh, it's him! Anyway, thanks a lot. If you hadn't gotten here in time, whew, I would have been in a real mess. <sighs> Thank you. I'm surprised we get to see each other again so soon. About all the commotion just now, I heard a bunch of masked fools were causing a ruckus on the streets. I happened to be passing through, got stopped for questioning, and there were some misunderstandings along the way. Anyway, I owe you another one. Is this lady your friend too? <laughs> well, we've only met each other once before, but he is a kind soul for helping me at the hotel. It's my pleasure to meet you, beautiful lady. B beautiful lady? By the way, what did you do to that man earlier? It was like someone took him on an emotional roller coaster. I was wondering about that too. What happened back there exactly? That's right! It was me! Clucky! Of course, you played a big part too. Without you doing the clockwork, Dream Bill would have been in some real trouble. Clocky? Yes, that cartoon character. I think he's shown up in reality, I mean in the dreamscape. I don't really know how a cartoon character could show up around here, but according to our friend here, only honest people with childlike innocence can see him. It seems like I'm too old to qualify for that. If Clucky really exists, that can explain a lot of things. Huh. Can you see me too? I can feel the presence of something inexplicable next to you. But it's a shame that I can't communicate with him like you can. We can both perceive these extraordinary things in the dream. Probably due to our ability to react to Memoria. But you're more attuned to it than I am. I thought your heightened perception was caused by something the elegant Memo Keeper might have left in your mind. Now it seems to me there are many more special beings like her in this dream. Shortly after we parted ways, I felt someone's spying eyes on me. I looked in the mirror and spotted a lady wearing a black veil. We had a deep conversation, but I won't bore you with the details. It's a shame that I forgot to ask her for her name. I only know that she's from the Garden of Recollection. Garden of Recollection? <gasps> Is that the group that serves the Eon of Remembrance? Exactly. They traverse freely between different worlds as mimetic entities, and are only visible to certain people. 
Doesn't she sound very much like that Blocky you saw? After all, it is a grand event held by the family. The guest list could be a lot longer than we imagine. Once again, thank you for being kind to me. I wish you a great time in the dream, and I shall not interrupt your... date? No! We're not on a date! <laughs> She's gone. Well, shall we? I'll let you get back to your beeswax. Thanks, my great friend. I really appreciate your help. The Nameless are indeed a bunch of talented people. May our paths cross again. May our paths cross again. Tick tock. Please come with me. I hope that you won't be distracted by some invisible friend again. Nice. I'm afraid we need to take the pinball machine to reach this place. Uh, you go first, and I'll be right behind you. Secret stronghold is a a cafe. Here. so you'll have to stay close to me. <sighs> hey, let me ask you something. Is following girls around like a lost puppy your way of getting their attention? You've been doing this for nearly half a system hour. To be more precise, it's been 45 minutes. Time sure flies when you're having fun, doesn't it? Ugh, spare me. Beautiful eyes, though. Are you from Sigonia? Need another hint? I'm an Avgen. 
My eyes might not be as pretty as yours, but there's no problem with my vision. You Sigonians are notorious throughout the entire universe. Liars, thieves, social manipulators, wolves in sheep's clothing. You're really living up to the reputation. I say, you belong to the space under the manhole cover. Not in a dream. There's one right over there. Off you go. I'll pass. The gloomy shade of a place like that just wouldn't go with my vibe. Dreamville is frivolous, vain, and flashy. And that suits me just fine. Also, it never rains here. My outfit is too expensive to be exposed to the elements. Cut it out and go home, you slick talker. We are fools, but we aren't stupid. We aren't interested in playing the friend game with the lapdogs of the IPC. <laughs> really? You've never been friends with anyone from the IPC? Do you think I know nothing about the history of Penacony? Don't drag me into your banal office politics! Fool, you've been left with no choice since the moment you accepted the invitation to be here. You better pick a side while you have the chance. Or else you'll end up losing everything. You sound very sure of yourself. Looks like you've already convinced that chicken wing boy from the family. How did you do it, little peacock? Did you strip yourself naked, apologize to him on your knees, and promise that the IPC would never harm Panacone? Friends, oh please. You guys only treat others as your bargaining chips. Oh, what's wrong with chips? In any gamble, the only players that will never be on the losing side are the Chips. My friends from the Garden of Recollection and the Astral Express are all smart enough to understand that. But the smarter ones wouldn't have joined the game in the first place. See? I'm smarter. Listen, little peacock. You've been invited by the tavern before, too. If you want the masked fools to get on board, you need to figure out what it is the laughter wants. Here's a hint for you. Since you can't convince anyone, why don't you find a rock to be friends with? At least a rock won't be able to refute your arguments. <laughs> so long! Thanks. I'll keep your advice in mind. <sighs> what a pain in the neck. I guess I'll have to meet with the family again. Thank you. 
It's getting late. Where to now? Looks good.
almost there. Dreams are supposed to be good. Look! This place is breathtaking, isn't it? Guests aren't allowed here, so we have to be careful not to get caught. Don't worry. This place isn't dangerous, just, um, think of this as the border of Golden Hour. The family is still building and remodeling the dreamscape beyond here. My secret stronghold is in this area. Let's sneak inside. <sighs> I am so ready for this day to be over. Guess. Excuse me, there's a construction site ahead. Unauthorized personnel are not allowed in. Drat! We're caught right away. Could you... Uh, please make an exception? We're not gonna cause any trouble. Uh, not a chance. Our boss made it clear that only the Dreamers are allowed here. He won't budge. People ask for favors every day. Am I supposed to just say yes to all of them? None of your tricks are going to work. Please do yourself and me a favor and go home. <sighs> Seems like you won't give in. Um, let me think of another way. Perhaps Clocky's Clocky power trick can come in handy? Uh, this doesn't count as malicious intent. Right. None of your tricks are going to work. Please do yourself and me a favor and go home. guests. Welcome to Penacony. I'm a member of the Bloodhound family. And my job is maintaining order in the dreamscape. In fact, no danger will arise under the family's protection, which makes my job redundant. Even a trash can is more important than me. Please refrain from that. I know I won't be able to overcome you. Anyway, please just give me some privacy. You two should enjoy this fun and exciting dreamscape instead of talking to someone who is worse than a trash can. There's... there's little dignity left in me. Please be nice and don't trample on it. I, sure enough, you guys can force your way through, but... I swear I'll stop you or die trying. After all, I have nothing left to lose. I feel really bad. Oh, my goodness! Oh, my! Oh, my! Oh, my! Oh, my! I feel like uh, I'm on cloud nine! 
Oh, can you feel it? It's, this is wild. It feels like I just downed ten bottles of Apocal Soul Glad in one gulp and spent an entire day at the Dreamscape sales store. Oh, if Mia were here, we would sing a song together. Oh, I'm sure she would understand how I feel. I can hardly contain this palpable excitement. Oh, I'd like to invite you to dance with me, handsome. Right here, right now. Oh, no way. Rules are rules. It's totally fine if you want to turn me down. This crazy mood and this pounding heart are just what I need. I... I wish... I wish it would last forever. Still, I won't let you guys in because it's my duty to stop you. <laughs> he really is a man of principle. How many times do I have to repeat myself? Unauthorized personnel are not allowed at the construction site. Ugh! Do you two really want to stay here and test my patience? You're going to regret it. Ugh, you're asking for it. Oh, and I wouldn't be so cocky if I were you. I deal with punks like you all the time. You fear for nothing just because you're young and energetic. You idle away your time every day, going around, stirring up trouble. You contribute nothing to society. Let me help you spoiled brats learn the hard way. Go, Sweet Dreams Troop! Teach them a lesson! Let's make it quick. Defense. Let's test your knowledge. Zero points. Next. Naughty children, don't listen. Nap time. The fight is set. I've lost! Uh, is this... Is this the power of youth? If I'd had that power back then, would we have ended up differently, Mia? Alright. You can go in. As the winner, you deserve it. 
Seems like he's taking this winning and losing thing a little too seriously. <laughs> well, at least we finally get to go through. Never imagined that's how we'd end up getting past the guard. <laughs> that trick of Clocky's really is amazing. All right. Uh, you can go in. As the winner here, you deserve it. ends here. For the rest of the way, we need to borrow the Dreamer's tools. What happens next is going to blow your mind. Different points in space are linked together? Now we can go to the other side. This is how the Nightingale family repairs the dreamscape. Fascinating, isn't it? that are floating around in the air. to the rooftop of the opposite building from here, but it requires a device. I remember it's hidden here.
Need I teach someone a lesson? Think! Indestructible! Sayas per kippy. Knowledge is the measure of all things. It reveals truth and falsehood. You're in bad shape. Fail! Get out! I will dispatch you by my sword. be unreachable for me. Savor it in my place. Lance ablaze. Flaming lance. Forward! Do you have answers? Never stop thinking. <laughs> Just in time. Just a little something. <laughs> Think nothing of it. Unnecessary. <laughs> Fail. Defend you. Naughty children, don't listen. Here comes the medicine. Unnecessary. Make good the lost. Lance at the ready. Fracture. I'm asking the questions. Let's test your knowledge. <laughs> Time for a shot. <laughs> Unnecessary. That defense? Never stop thinking. Not Essayus per kippy. Knowledge is the measure of all things. It reveals truth and falsehood. Nap time. Fail! Get out! <laughs> Just in time. Just a little something. <laughs> Think nothing of it. Nice teamwork. Defend the weak. Lance ablaze. Flaming lance. Points. Next. That paradise may be unreachable from savor it in my place.
sink. All better now? Nice teamwork. On guard. <laughs> Time for a shot. All better now. Nice teamwork. <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> Just in time. Just a little something. <laughs> Think nothing of it. Nice teamwork. Lance of Blaze. Flaming Lance. Forward. <laughs> That'll take more than medicine. <laughs> Lance at the ready. Naughty children, here comes the medicine. Fracture! Okay. That hurt. <laughs> Just in time. Just a little something. <laughs> Think nothing of it. Nice teamwork. <laughs> time for a shot. All better now? Nice teamwork. Lance ablaze! Flaming Lance! Forward! Naughty children, don't listen. Here comes the medicine. Nice teamwork. But I'm a... Fracture! I have to keep going.
Look, that's the Penacony Grand Theater over there. This one is a little bit complicated. Hmm. I have to put on my thinking cap. from across the universe to form the team of dreamers that built the dream of Penacony. These areas are not developed yet, so guests don't come here. It's not as lively as the town center here, but I relish the serene atmosphere. Defense? Sick! <laughs> That'll take more than medicine. Nap time. You impede me. Take more than medicine. Savor the vigor of it. A blade's edge knows no mercy. <laughs> Reach the end of the story in your own way.
It's the same routine. You've mastered it, right? for too long without drinking so glad or because I've been working overtime for two months why don't I have any inspiration today uh, who's there why are there guests here y you know what I don't care how you stuck in just leave me alone Prevent me from finishing my work on time. I'm gonna make you pay for it. Make it quick. Stop thinking. All better now? <laughs> Time for a shot. Here comes the medicine. Not bad. I will dispatch you by my points. sword. Let's go. What about this? Do you have answers? Think. Naughty children, don't press. A blade's edge knows no mercy. The fight is set. Let's make it quick. I'm asking the questions. <laughs> Just in time. Just a little something. <laughs> Think nothing of it. But
Let's test your knowledge. That paradise may be unreachable for savor it in my place. Reach the end of the story in your own way. time than now to put it to action. He wandered off, but he left behind the puzzle piece. for me. Complicated. It gives me a headache every time I pass through. Not only do we have to activate the dream's eye, but we also have to close it a couple of times to get through.
Keep at it. Keep at it. Whew. Finally. There won't be too many hindrances after this. the last time I was here. Uh, half my frequent comings and goings started drawing attention. I don't think we can get around them. Knocking them out is the only way to go. Let's get rid of them. Stay alert. <laughs> Your end approaches. Make good the loss. Let's go. Yeah. Do you have answers? Sayas Perkippi. Knowledge is the measure of all things. It reveals truth and falsehood. Naughty children, don't listen. All better now? Not bad. Five points. <laughs> Here comes the medicine. <laughs> Just in time. Just a little something. <laughs> Think nothing of it. Let Rules are made to be broken! <laughs> <laughs> 